This is a demonstration of the dome motor controller by Mike Senna and Victor Franco. It's documented on astromech.net. What we have here is R2's dome, and what we have here is a transmitter. The joystick on the left, if moved from left to right, will activate a small $10 servo inside R2's dome. The servo, in turn, depending on which direction it turns, will activate a switch that's connected to a 12-volt motor and to a 12-volt battery, and that will make R2's head spin. So we can move it to the left, and R2's dome will move to R2's left. We can move it to the right, and R2's dome will move to the right. If we take a look inside, we can see how everything works. This right here is the tran excuse me, the receiver, and from channel four we have a wire that's hooked up to the servo. The servo has been carved right here so that if it turns in one direction it's going to hit that left switch and if it turns in another direction it's going to hit the right switch. And I'll do that on the transmitter right now. I'm turning the joystick to the left and it bumps the left switch. And when I turn it to the right, it bumps the right switch. Each of these switches is hooked up to the battery and to this motor right here, which is a 12 volt motor. And it depends on which direction, rather which switch is activated, which direction the current will flow. If the current flows in one direction, this motor will spin around to the left and it'll spin around to the right in the other direction. These are gears that go with the frame, so the whole assembly will turn our two stones.